There's our basic uh, device, which are, is used to measure pressure and pressure differentials. So we're going to be talking about pressures, and we're going to be talking about fluids, how fluids behave under pressure. So I've got a couple main points. Generally, we're going to treat all the fluids as incompressible. That's true. And even gases can be treated as incompressible if the flow, the speed of the flow is low enough. Uh, here's something people don't realize that in general, this is a great rule of thumb, liquids are a thousand times denser than gases. A thousand times. I have a cubic meter of air, it weighs about 1.2 kilograms, standard temperature pressure. I have a cubic meter of water, that's a thousand kilograms, one metric ton. That's a huge difference. 1,000 kilograms versus 1.2 kilograms. Pretty close. So this is pretty close. So just keep that in your mind, that liquids are much denser than gases. And, I'll, and when we get to the manometer, I'll show you why, where that's important. Okay, we also know of anyone who dives or goes underwater that pressure increases with depth, owing to the weight of the fluid. So as I get further and further down into a column of liquid, the pressure is going to go up, and we know that. We write pressure as force divided by area, and depending on the units of force and the units of area, we can have uh, different units of pressure. I might have pounds per square inch, PSI. I might have newtons per square meter, which would be Pascal, as an example. Okay, so we're going to imagine a manometer, and we're going to use one of my patented square tube manometers, and I've never actually seen one of these in existence, but it's great for uh, Now, if I fill this with fluid, and I have a pressure up here, and let's just say that both at the top, at the top on both sides is open to, open to the room pressure. And I put fluid in here, and it can flow over here. We know what's going to happen. I think everyone knows when the pressures are equal, the fluid levels are going to be equal. Then that makes perfect sense. So if this pressure increases to be greater than this pressure, we know intuitively what's going to happen. This pressure is going to push down on the top of the liquid more than the force of this pressure pushing down on top of this liquid. So what's going to happen is the level of this liquid is going to drop and the level of this liquid is going to rise. This is for P1 greater than P2. What would happen if P2 looked greater than P1? Everyone knows, right? It's just the reverse of this situation. So P, P2 is greater than P1. It's just going to reverse this. So now the pressure is higher over here. And we know this. So this is, this is the intuitive way to look at it. But we want to make measurements, so we need to get this so that, it's, uh, that it tells us more than, we need to know more than just pressures higher on one side than the other. We need to know by how much, and we need to know by units, whether that in, that's inches of water column. And inches of water column is a great unit, which is frequently used as a unit of pressure, and all this right is inches, water column. So you'll see that a lot, inches of water column. And what does the inches of water column mean? Right, let's just draw what one inch of water column looks like. If pressure over here is higher than the pressure over here, and this is water, this fluid in here is water, and this is air, so I've got air in here, and then this is my water. And this height equals one inch. That's one inch of water column. That's a pressure. And that's a pressure I can convert 
into PSI or Pascal or any other units that I want to. And if I put a pressure gauge here and I hook one side of the pressure gauge to over here and the other side to over here, that's going to measure a differential pressure. It's called a delta P. And in this case, we know delta P equals one inch water column. Pressures are measured relative to something, and that could be measured to zero, which would be an absolute pressure or a gauge pressure. Gauge pressure is relative, absolute pressure is compared to zero. 